figure out though where we're gonna go. It's got land vehicles. Looks like maybe supplies, I'm not sure. I don't know the symbols well enough yet. Guess let's go to the ND mine. ND mine. However the hell you say that. Switches, I believe. Start the engines. Hello. Lord. bills and two albatross. Shut those off, maybe squeak out a little bit more juice. It's not looking like it. Maybe a little. Could be the currents though too. finally picked it up man it's actually really fun i toyed around with it last night just to even become relatively like familiar with the layout it's really cool i actually really like it already it's a lot to learn though kind of back to normal rather than drained of all my energy and 
fighting off allergic reactions. Let's finally get a chance to play some games. I don't like how rough this water is right now. I feel like this is going to make it even harder for me to get kind of positioned where I want it. This thing doesn't exactly turn on a dime. susceptible to vehicle fire. No, I can't really tell. We won't get that close or I'll try not to. Crazy, the wind sounds really intense in game. Let's go ahead and cut the speed back a little. Ways off. Yeah, that's going to be challenging. This will be my first little play, especially with weather this extreme. The wind, the rain, or snow, whatever that was, looks like it let up, but the wind is like crazy. Definitely want to be upwind of it, I think. Although. 
them coming back to the carrier might be the problem. There's no good way to deal with that other than staying completely downwind. And they're going to have to fight it either way. It's a little bigger. Maybe it'll weather that better. Plus we have the camera. We can kind of see what's going on there. So we have A1 and A2. status will tell us how far they are to getting it up on deck. There we go, it's coming up. I'm very interested to see how this does in the wind. there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, if I can get like a better way to get a visual. That guy's making himself pretty exposed. Let's go ahead and see if we can take one out at least, because when they bunch together, I know you can sometimes land several targets in one. AI 
is acting a little funky. I've heard that this is really tough to fly them with mouse and keyboard though. Yeah, we can definitely do the loop. Let's uh, see if he fires off these rockets at least, and then we'll start the loop again for observation purposes. The rockets, I know, have pretty good range. Like, he could probably damn near engage them from where our carrier's parked. There we go. Fired off the rocket. Let's get you back out here. Definitely took those out. Should have used the drone, maybe the razor bill, maybe the albatross is too fast. Let's give her a try. We can do that. Um, that was A3 and A4. She just stayed here. Glad to see the weather's worse. We only got one of their seals. Little haters picking up the, uh... <laughs> I need somebody to give orders. Yes, I need somebody to play with. You're probably going to be giving me orders. No, we'll play for sure. I know you and Amanda both were interested in it, so definitely I will play with you guys. We'll have to test it out too. Maybe if you if you get it downloaded and hop on, we'll see if you can join like an in, in, excuse me in progress game. I would assume you can. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get order to our razor bill. We'll do more of the same for experimentation's sake. We'll just make another loop and see if it's easier or any different to uh, get a view. I thought I had additional lights as well. I think it's headlights right here maybe? Yes. Those are navigation, though. We don't really need those, I guess. You are right, sir. It's definitely a cool game. Very immersive. Just in a little bit I played last night and toyed around just this afternoon into evening. Let's take a look with our razor bill and see what we get. See, the Razor Bill is like a big drone, whereas that Albatross, well, I guess the Albatross is technically a drone as well. They're not manned, but... See, it doesn't have a gimbal camera, though. That's the issue with it. at this guy as well. I 
tried to fly one of these last night very briefly, and on mouse and keyboard it was excruciatingly difficult. Let's see if he lands that shot on that guy. or missiles, so we're going to have to recall him and get him resupplied. Our poor Albatross out here just flying around with its minigun and three quarters of its fuel. Let me switch my door here. So, we know that the loadout on those Razorbacks are pretty minimal. It's basically just rockets. Ooh, we can. Okay, I like this. Countermeasures. Sonic Pulse Generator. Not quite sure what that is. We don't have them anyway. Smoke Launcher. Smoke Launcher Stream. Smoke Launcher Explosive. Countermeasures would have been nice. I guess I should have put those on, but I think they're far enough out of range. Those little land vehicles aren't much of a huge threat. Not very anti-air. Um, hmm. Did our other guy come to land yet? I actually really see... Like, I'm soaking up the uh, atmosphere of the landings because this is so cool to watch them come in. God, I hope that's friendly. I didn't pay attention to radar. I'm like, it's shot out here. Yeah, I think it's friendly. Positioning of fly in. Oh, God. <laughs> come on, AI. Make it, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can land this. Lord knows I can't do it on a keyboard. I think they said there's now support for OTOS in this, which, if there is, I can definitely learn that because I can use mine. I'd actually feel somewhat comfortable flying. Got this. Got this. Ooh, a little rough. A little rough. Um, let's check. Alright, so our albatross is not really... It'd be nice if I could get him to stay stationary or enough so to be able to view... This isn't a rotary. Hmm. Wall camera, manual. I see some headlights down there still, which means they definitely have unfriendlies. Let's go ahead and call this guy back. Maybe we'll see if we can get... Actually, you know what? Let's see if this guy can use up his mini guns. the AI for a second, see how it responds with the minigun. Thank god they can't really hit us with those ground vehicles.
little funky when you take it out of that pattern. You gonna go there, buddy, or what are we doing? Well, he's firing. I guess maybe the AI is not too bad. It's making a long strafing run, so it's kind of nice. He's not, if it was me, I'd be like dropping straight down on their head and probably getting shot in the face. Let's see if it loops back around and gets another run. This is kind of more just a definite hands-on learning approach, like I'm not planning on dominating or trying to decimate the AI. Just want to learn a little bit about capturing an island or two and using some of the systems in game. Let's loop back around. I see some of those headlights. Let's see if he targets. Looks like he might be, maybe. Okay. Ooh, we took a dinger there, I could hear it. I think he got at least one. Let's uh, get this guy back to the ship. I don't want to lose anybody for now. see if I was right. It looked like I saw an explosion unless that's just the shells hitting the uh... that was our first with rockets which would have been the uh... Razorback I think we got at least one out of that okay let's see Check the loadout on that albatross. Razor Bill was the one we can swap out. Albatross had infrared missiles and 20 millimeter auto cannon. Rocket pods, which we don't have. Oh, hell. Didn't even realize what that was. Bomb. Okay. Medium, heavy, infrared, laser, anti aircraft, TV, torpedoes, that's cool, noisemakers. Okay, so there's a lot of options here. You can even put external fuel tanks. That's pretty awesome. Okay, interesting. So when we get that razor bill back, we will see those we don't have as many options to send out. They're more missiles, I think. And yeah, the only other thing we can have are countermeasures. I guess we could swap out the IR for any of the others that we looked at. Missile TV, torpedoes. Yeah, same options. Hmm. Okay, okay. Kind of looks nice, a little darker. Okay, so they definitely still have, I'd say, at least two or three, maybe four vehicles left that we could see headlight patterns from anyway. Did this guy land yet? Like, where the hell is he? I think that's him trying to find his way back. I wonder if he's going to make it with this wind. The other thing I'm interested in with this game is I guess the VR in it is like vastly improved with the updates, so I'm very much looking forward to playing this in VR as well. Oops, stairway's a little narrow there to move. Is 
It's gonna move back to land. I'm not seeing the uh, albatross come around. yesterday the numbering is a little goofy deck seven is where we want to be did we lose him I wonder in the landing I wonder if the storm botched it I feel like it might have I think we lost him. Hmm. So the albatross is the tougher. The rotary's a little seems a little better with the uh, inclement weather. duster I think it must have tried to land and I don't like how the one thing I don't like is when I go to excuse me interact with a particular screen or system it forces your like character to interact with the seat which is a little goofy I guess you would get used to it after a bit but um well let's take take our A4 that we switched out for that small payload bomb and we're gonna launch him and see it's gonna make its way there to pick him up that the AI has like compiled three islands and it's only on its second one. That's not terrible. I am like cursed with the old naval games with the bad weather. Like good lord, just give me a decent day. Like at least cut the wind. Still blowing pretty well here right over, kind of right through the center of where we're going to be working. So my only other option is to go like way north and that's going to be a lot of distance to cover. We'd be better off kind of capping these three and then moving north or even heading east. That looks horrific over there, good lord, that's like a hurricane. We have the other little stream though right over top of us. This guy's in the air. Let's see. We'll get him a little closer. When he gets closer, maybe we'll fire off. We'll try out that bomb. Experiment with some of the different payloads, I guess. It'd be neat if it had like a pretty good area of effect. I'd love to catch two or three of them. I did that once last night with the uh, carrier gun. That was very satisfying, getting three or four land vehicles with one shot, one barrage. an outpost. 
closed. Let's, uh, have to look at the list and see. It tells you, like, which islands, um, like, what supplies you can nab from each island. This one, I think, was land chassis, and then, uh, Maybe you can't use the uh, bombs without it being like a structure or maybe AA guns, that sort of thing. away. Can't tell. Doesn't look like we got it. Or damaged it, maybe. Those two are close together. Somebody might get hit at least. thing I can do is use the carrier gun, but I know that the ammo for this comes at a much bigger premium, and I think the positioning we have right now is not necessarily ideal for seeing either of those guys we were just looking at. We're still a little out of position for that. and another razor bill. Um, I kind of want to go with the albatross because it does better from range and with that minigun, the problem is I we lost the one seemingly just due to weather. Give it a second here and we'll try another albatross, see if we can have some better luck getting it back. The razor bills, I feel like I would change the loadout on those, and if I can put a camera on them, make them more of a scout vehicle, because they can kind of hover and stay in position, so it's going to be easier to see, whereas the albatross seems like it has to be moving, it, albeit at a much higher rate of speed, so that's going to be more like the attack runs, like something to take shots or whatever, like launch a bomb, etc., whereas those razor bills can just sit there and kind of let us use a gimbal and see, maybe. I don't know if that's an option yet to get the gimbal on it. We're going to find out. Let's get this guy in the air and we'll see if we can get another attack or two. If we can, we'll cap an island. If not, I'm kind of do a little reading and the uh, loadouts and whatnot, customization. Excuse me. Take off so cool. There it goes. Oh, those waves. No wonder we could have lost one. God. Let's get the 
this guy. Is the razor bill landing? This guy, a little bit of an attack run. Let's try a bomb. Yeah, they're moving so much faster. curious when we send this one back I feel like I'm gonna watch the camera and see what it looks like trying to land though because I I'm almost positive that we lost the first one due to just inclement poor weather did he drop the bomb I think he did how it literally looks like a CCTV feed from like <laughs> see if he lines up his attack run here say that was at least one getting cooked. Okay, okay. Let's pull him back a ways. There's still at least one. Which, where that's positioned on the island, I think I should be able to see it from the carrier gun. It's a little frustrating. I feel like I should definitely be able to see that carrier. Let's see if we can get a visual with our deck gun. Ours um, manual. Ah, is that... Because the weather's so poor, we can't confirm the targets. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Like, I, that must affect the visuals on just about everything, because usually when I have craft out flying, like last night, I was able to maintain some sort of visual on, like, where they were as they moved. This is like we're completely losing them until they're sighted at some point in the blue. Is 
definitely not as easy to keep track in this kind of weather, I think. I wonder with this bad weather, can the land vehicles make their way to shore? Or is that like a risk you run with losing them as well and just in transit? Let's take what do these guys have. 30 millimeter turret to they're all gonna be the same. They're just the same type of vehicle. You can have a 20 millimeter CIWS turret. IR missile launcher, virus bots, which we have on one, observation camera, radar, so a little fewer options, I think. Hmm. A little dark in here. Um, we still have our missiles and little more than half of our ammo for the gun. I don't know if I can see these guys. try to send in some land vehicles here just to do it. At this point, it's probably our better option with this kind of weather. I don't think the air strikes, albeit we've had some kills, are going to be as easy as I'd like. For the sake of playing, I need to try to make a move for the island. Yeah, we lost that albatross of ours right there. Okay, okay. I can't even see the island. Good lord. I love that. It's like U boat all over again. I could have got much closer to this. I felt like, I honestly, I feel like that storm may have moved the whole carrier. I don't think we were quite this far away. Yeah, I think we got blown actually like way further than I thought. Wow. That's actually impressive. Hmm. I want to see this albatross try to come in. Really poorly with this weather. So put those headlights on. It's coming around the back now. Oh my 
God. No wonder we lost it. I can't even see. trying to come in wherever the hell he is right there. Nice and easy. You got this. I'm sorry we're rocking all over the place. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought it was just going to go scooting off. are here if they've moved yeah so let's get you up here should have that's our antivirus guy or virus guy for the actual building takeover or whatever on the command center Carriers moving. That is insane. Good lord. The little bit I played last night, I barely encountered rain until the end of the night. Okay, well, what we're going to do is try to get this boat positioned little better here yeah it blew us all the way back to like our starter island my gosh we're damn close to it gosh now we're at risk of like running into our own vehicles as they try to make their way out it's crazy cannot believe the way we drifted that far. I guess it doesn't matter when you're buoyant and just sitting there. It's going to move you one way or the other. Especially with little to no resistance from engines. God, those guys are drifting so bad I don't know that they can even get close. guys like I don't know that they can fight that kind of current
he's three islands deep. We can't get the first one right now. <laughs> yeah, I, anyway. The other thing I need to familiarize myself with more is the like defenses. We've got the AA missiles, CIWS, I'm assuming that's front left, front right, back left, back right, target locked. Flare launcher, cruise missile, main gun I've used, torpedoes I've not yet, activation delay, so you can raise lower, launch torpedoes, load, load noisemakers, okay, L1, L2, R1, R2, those are our lights, these I'm actually not sure, I think it's the spotlights, see if I'm right. Yeah, it's moving the light. Okay. The guy's kind of bugging out there. Crazy. Cannot get over the drift. Yeah, I think though, not only learning this game is going to be fun, but I think if I play with you guys a bit, it's going to be even more fun to have other people to like interact and communicate with while you're playing because it's I mean you can see from the bridge like it's there's so many interactable objects and interfaces you know somebody can be arming vehicles and swapping loadouts the other person can be deploying and setting routes somebody else can be watching the ship it, I mean you there the options are limitless with what you can do which I think is gonna be really fun I know Manum po uh, pointed this out to me. I was not even aware of Carrier Command 2. I know th there was the original that came out many moons ago. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. It would be like if we could play U-Boat with several of us, you know, like that would be just even better than it already is. It would be the same deal. Actually, let's take this opportunity with downtime to look at the islands. The one we were heading toward was, yeah, surface chassis. So that unlocks two of those. This one would be utility, like we thought, and then turrets. Okay, so there's a little variety there in this corner. Large munitions, small munitions, air chassis, so that's a ways. Fuel would be nice though. We really need a fuel. I wish that was somewhere within the vicinity of where we're at.
damage countermeasures. That's the alarm. That's the sonar. Repairs I was familiar with. Currency report. So that shows us when we cap more islands, etc. Lose them, whatever. Okay. Delivery log. Oh, that's for like the barges when we get those set up to be bringing materials to and from. Where are these vehicles at in relation to me? Probably not even close. No, they're not. We're leaving them in the dust. Yikes. has some downtime. I'm going to pause it really quickly and use the restroom and I've got to feed my saltwater fish. Be right back.
All right. Finally back. Apologies. Still finishing up taking my medicine that they've given me. Can't forget that. Hey, man. What's up? Yes, you will have to pick it up. We have you, myself, and Cosmo. We have to pilot an aircraft carrier. Uh, let's see. We are trying to make our way back. These storms have literally caused me to drift way out of position. It does support VR. Um, that's awesome. I actually played my VR for the first time in a while, about two nights ago. Um, just with that uber hot weather we've had, I have not had the desire to stream it being that miserable. So I'm very much looking forward to the mild weather. Alright, let's go ahead and slow this big honking mama down. You have some basic competence now? It's not too bad, and you guys, I mean, the way you play U-Boat and everything, you're going to know kind of what to expect a little bit with the strategy and whatnot. For me, the challenging part is figuring out, like, the intricacies of the different weapons and the... Um, like defenses and whatnot, but other than that, I think we can work it out on the fly. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna try to stop right here. Keep hitting that one too many times there. These guys, I just don't even know. They're barely moving. Like, so slow. I should have never deployed them. Let's go back to... save from the other night. Can do mods. I wonder if I can actually Let's see if I can take a look at these. I'd like to take a look at the mods actually right now. Yeah, it does support VR. Supposedly the VR actually works pretty well, like it's pretty fluid and they really put some effort into streamlining it a while back. Because I guess when it first launched it was a little rough and people had some complaints. Popular mods, Shearwater Petrol, deploy combat droids from the petrol and transfer ammo and fuel be between car carriers. Excuse me. Load your heavy lift chopper with mule cargo and combat droids. Lets you transport fuel, IR missiles, ground units. Okay, so it's basically like not using barges, I guess. Combat carrier, additional weapons for the carrier, gives the carrier four small ground turrets on the bow and two on the stern to keep sneaky enemy units away. Yeah. 
I'm not too worried about modding. I just want to learn the base game for now. I just was curious to kind of take a peek and see what they had. Let's do... Do I want to do the campaign or custom? Maybe we should do the campaign. Hmm. Actually, let's go ahead and load that file from last night. I can't remember quite where I left off. Good lord, where did I leave? leave last night. So we capped one. I guess we were heading toward a different. Let's take a look at our map, see what we got. So we capped Hades, which is turrets. Do we have anything nearby for fuel? Clear up there? Good lord. Hmm. Maybe we should go that far and get the fuel. I mean, without fuel, we can't do anything, right? Hammer down. I can thread between these two islands and how badly we'll get attacked. I'm gonna try to thread it. Surely it looks closer than it actually is. Oh yeah, if I get us right through that little channel. Unless they have air support, which is probably entirely possible. try to get to this God, these names are like horrific like how in the hell do you pronounce that Odracker <laughs> Odrasser whatever I guess it doesn't matter it's fictional make it up What I haven't quite worked out myself is the logistics. Like, I understand the premise that you have access to specific um, resources like per island. What I'm not necessarily getting is like, for instance, how the hell do you move this guy? Maybe we do it from actions. See, like, how do I gain control of him? Let's take a look. At the... Logistics. Capture islands to gain control of factories. Yada yada. Warehouses contain an initial supply of attachments, ammo, and chassis. Blueprints. Barge waypoints can be added using the inventory logistics terminal. Barges will collect items at waypoints linked to islands if the carrier has pending orders that can be fulfilled. Barges will unload items at a carrier waypoint if the carrier has enough inventory capacity remaining. So 
we have to use the inventory logistics terminal which is right here okay to set a waypoint. Oh, okay. So somehow that just triggered. Okay, okay. User error. I'm dumb. Um, that island is on our west. Well, that's technically not necessarily west. Oh, they do have air support. Oy. Of course, it's like snowing as well. Oh, of course, they're going to come after us too while we're flying. them off our tail. Looks like we got one. Let's check the radar, I guess. Oh, they're still back there. Still one behind us. Oh, he's right on top of us. Please tell me that hit. I think we got him. Perfect. That is a nice luxury to have. Ooh, that island to our east has ships. of us. We've only been able to experiment a little bit with the air warfare and that basic level of the missile anti-air defenses. I have not toyed with torpedoes yet, so... Necessarily tracking us yet, or following anyway. Love that it's like getting dark as hell out too again. Took some damage. taking the damage from the rough weather or are we taking damage because those aircraft or like a neighboring island got pot shots could have been i guess prior say you file too last night maybe i missed something I was probably getting pelted by somebody and didn't even know it keep an eye on me 
these repairs for the time being and get them topped off while we're traveling since we don't have any time compression, which is probably a good thing for me. You guys see though, the secret button when the oh shit meter gets too full. Pop this little puppy. <laughs> That's it right there. Insert key and push the button. How close are we? Oh, we got a little ways to go. We are coming in hot though. I'm gonna go ahead and slow us down. That's always my name of the game anyway. Flying in here at 100 knots, whatever that says, that it's not going to be beneficial for me. I don't remember what map I had this on. Is that, like, precipitation, maybe? Yeah. There's our wind. Oh, nice. We're kind of caught right in a little jet again. Not as bad as that last game, though. Perfect. That means maybe we didn't aggro them too much. Let's speed this up a little. Get closer. Let's go. Speaking of barges, let's check that and see. Okay, so he's making his way there. He reached like the first little waypoint. I really didn't want to come all the way up here, but this is the pretty much the closest one for fuel. One clear over there, and then really spaced out. I guess after we do this, we'll double back and maybe go after the air chassis. Those seem to be really nice. Definitely want to keep fuel coming in, though. Let's get some more repairs going. Yeah, let me know, Cosmo, if and when you want to try to play a bit. We'll group up. We'll either use, I don't know, if we, if we can figure out how to use in-game chat, we'll use that. If not, we'll pop up Discord or something to figure something out. I don't really want to send the aircraft out quite yet. I feel like... We had that sketchy landing earlier in that previous game, and we're already short one albatross. Those two airborne targets we hit with our defenses was an albatross and a razor bill. I think. Yeah, it's 117. It was 111, so roughly six minutes ago. Sounds like it. I really wish I could get, I wonder if I can check, um, okay, so what does this place have? Locked. So these are all turrets, we can't even get, like, other, really, that makes it tough. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to try to secure this fuel and then come back for air chassis because I really want to get keep topped up with those at like all times. Let's 
try to get steer into it just a little bit because I want to try to mark as many targets as possible. still Let's see if that slows down of them there I think it's three I feel like that barge has just stopped. Is it still moving toward the island? Yeah, it is, I guess. He's just extremely slow. Okay, let's do... We got IR missiles and it should be the auto cannons and then the gimbal thing is we know that he moves a lot quicker so do I have a good fix on where these jokers are that looks oh well, he's out in the water he's not quite coming towards us but he's kind of hanging out which is probably good for us I think we're going to be able to pick this guy off really easily um, we're going to deploy both of those. I got to get power back to the lift. I'm dumb. We're going to get these two razor bills deployed and then try to snag him while he's out in the water. I feel like that's like just easy fishing right there. If they're really going to try to come towards me right now in the water, they're just asking to die. Like, that is not a good move on their part. Ground vehicles, like, amphibious, whatever. They might be. They're moving incredibly slow. Yeah, as soon as we get the razor bills up, we're going to... Throw the frogs in the pot here. They don't even know it. One's up. 
We're just not even going to chance it. We'll double shoot him with rockets, missiles rather, and see if we can uh, snag him while he's... There we go. Looks like we got one. Same thing here. Let's see if we can get the other. Oops. Check the feed. Looks like we got, yeah, we did get two, two seals. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Nobody, okay, those ships haven't come. We'd be able to see them on radar. One vehicle's boogieing out of there. We can send the albatross after him, maybe. Get these two loaded back on board here. Come on back, buddy. I'd really like to not lose an air vehicle, this one, so we're gonna play it pretty cautiously until I can start rearming. on that last little start. Go back inside, keep an eye on the radar and whatnot. Perfect. Alright. So, let's get the albatross going while they resupply. I guess this guy's got to get down first before... I don't think there's more than one lift. We only have one. Crazy slow. You definitely see how you have to stay several steps ahead with the uh, resupply. 
Like if those barges run that slow and once you start to chain a couple separate islands together, like having to replace a vehicle or a specific type of ammunition is going to take a while for sure. this albatross out we'll see if we can nab that other guy that we have a visual on picking him up now I want him to hang out at this end I hope he doesn't rush away to the other side we might still be able to find him with that gimbal but just as easy to take him out while we know where he's at bringing up the albatross perfect guns on this guy will save the rockets see if I can have him circle the island a bit and we'll try to get a visual with the uh, ship let's do that I guess a lot of people, well, I don't know, a lot of the comments and things I was able to find for this game were, like, much older, like a year plus, and people were complaining about the AI and everything, but I haven't really found just in the minimal amount I've been playing the AI to be that terrible, so maybe they either improved it or people were just complaining to complain, which is easily believable. Um, let's get you out of ways set up a little loop here while you're doing that let's take a look at the island see if we shook up any uh, units You know what else though I just thought of something these are the kind of little things when you play with people it's probably easier we don't have any of our land vehicles right now we are like major SOL I should have picked those things up I'm gonna have to like sc <laughs> scrap all of these save files there's no way by the time I order them here it looks like half of them are already 50% fuel that one's less all oh, 14 percent okay <laughs> yeah that's how you learn right um can i delete no you can't do it from this menu really can't do it from that menu okay that's all right just do a custom um, I know if you shrink the number of islands it goes much faster I don't know that I want that right now up to four we'll start with easy yeah forget it
fresh start. Comms. Uh, perfect timing, Cosmo, because I just started this fresh file. Um, it's up to you. If you want to use whatever you tell me what's easiest for you, I can do Discord. We can attempt in-game. Um, let me see. Does it have in-game chat? Is that an option? doesn't actually really specify. Um, but I can do Discord. We can do whatever. Whatever you want to try. If Discord works for you, I know, I mean, I'm more familiar with Discord, obviously, but whatever, if it helps you one way or the other, we can try in game, see if we can just use it when somebody joins. I, this will be the first time I've played with somebody in game, so I don't actually know yet. I guess we're flying blind, which is fine. Discord, okay. Let me get uh, opened up here. I'll see if I can add you in there. I know I have, I think it's Jet Steam, but I don't have you or a man. Uh, let's do add friend. Uh, let me throw, I'll put my name on there for you. I won't, I'm not going to make you type yours out. It's not like we have 50 people hanging out here, but at the same time, I don't want, you know, nobody needs to disclose their personal crap. So mine, to add it, actually, I can't type it out as dumb as that is. I think this is trying to literally make me log into my own chat, which is absolutely stupid. I can do it from mobile, I believe, though. my discord so if you can add that and we'll just do a whatever voice chat call whatever I have if we need to I have a server on there we can use you testing testing yeah I think I got you here perfect let me switch off my push to talk since I don't really need that right now be smarter than the computer all right so the next question for us becomes how do I 
We might have to see... I don't know. I wonder if we have to add each other through Steam then to be able to jump in game. Um, there is an option for um, invite code. How do I exit out of this? Let's see. Options. Maybe from the main menu even. Uh, um, I... I don't know. Well, maybe you have to do it from the main menu and host a multiplayer game. Let's, yeah, let's try that. I'm going to back up to the main menu here and see what it says. Game options. Okay, multiplayer. Yeah, we can host. Um, leave that on. It's fine. Multiplayer game type. Okay, that's cool. You can even load some of your prior saves if you need to. That's kind of handy. I think it's loading me in now, so we'll see if it sets up the server and allows you to join. It says waiting for server. Sometime today, maybe. Okay. Server, Swanky Mongoose join. Multiplayer, there we go. So we can do... There's no... Here, I can copy the code to clipboard and send it to you through Discord, I guess. Sure. Good lord, they made that long. That's like a... Wow. <laughs> That's what was auto-generated. I thought it was probably going to be like 5 to 10 characters. It's like 35. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah, this is... Okay, give me about 30 minutes to type that all in. <laughs> <laughs> God, hopefully, if you play with friends, like people on regular occasions, I hope they don't, like, regenerate that code each time you log in. That would be atrocious. Well, there's a paste option. Oh. So it's not that bad. That's good. We'll keep this paused till we make sure we can get grouped up. I don't want the AI getting an unfair advantage, a head start on us. Oh, like that's going to matter? <laughs> We're still learning here. That's true. My thing says waiting for details. It took me a minute oh, to load trying... in, so... Okay. Let's see. bridge i wonder what that does is that like if you're in a different area surely it wouldn't just teleport you what if you fall off the ship <laughs> i i mean that's that's a fair assumption i guess i just hope to not find out that's all i i fell off the ship today <laughs> did you yeah I, I get on the ship and i wonder can i fall off of it <laughs> Turns out, yes it's for science. And then I couldn't I, I couldn't find a button for the elevator to bring it back down, so I had to take the <laughs> ramp all the way back up. Insult to injury. I like it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, sure.
we save this already launched? I can't remember. I believe so. While we have some time to kill to work out the joining kinks, I want to see if what islands is it are near us. That looks like an air chassis, fuel. Maybe that's like some type of munition, small maybe. I'm not actually sure. Large. Okay, okay. It's not terrible. This thing still says waiting for details. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, menu to see if there's like any anything I missed, but I think we're, I don't know, it just shows my name in there, shows there's like a little, I guess there must be some type of in-game comms, there's like a little speaker symbol that doesn't seem to let you do much of anything. Oh, I guess you can mute voice. Okay, so that's good to know. really it kick band mute voice that's all I can see it has that invite code I sent it says anyone with the invite code can join this session generating a new invite code will disable the old ones okay so it is static I um, could try restarting uh, either way give it a shot and see and if not we'll just I can always fire up a completely fresh one or we'll try vice versa I can always try to join you well, I don't think the problem's on your end. Yeah, it's hard to say. Who knows? <clears throat> I could also try inputting a wrong code. See what that does. Okay. It just says waiting for details too. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's a bad character in that code somewhere. Let's see. Let me test something with it. I want to copy code and then go back and type it out. Make sure Discord didn't like capitalize or change a. Oh, when I paste it, there is an... No, never mind. Looks the same. Looks like there is an extra character in there. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe I did something wrong the first time. <laughs> There you are, I see your name. Perfect. Okay, we can see the player models. And I'm in. Perfect. took a peep at our map here. We have fuel not too far away. Does it let you see the map as I move it? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. 
That traffic has fuel. Looks like air chassis of some kind here closest to us. This to our east, that storm is, I would assume that's some type of small munitions. I don't really know the symbols that well yet. Um, yeah, guess it doesn't really matter. All right, I guess I'll set course. Perfect. Do that. I will take a gander at our loadout on these aircraft. The razor bill has two empty slots. I, the only other thing though, that's right, it was only countermeasures is all we have. I was hoping there was something else we could throw on there as a secondary munition. Guess not, a little limited. vehicles either Pretty basic options for now I'm very cautiously curious what these buttons for the fuel valves do I don't know if that like shuts off if maybe you're having like consumption worries or what I don't know either. I, <laughs> I tried pushing them and it didn't seem to do anything. I see that. Maybe it's, yeah. I Maybe that just is a, maybe we're mistaking it. It's not a button, just a signal for like damage or if there's an issue or something. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out when that happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. That land, it's got a little island. How would you like me going to the north or the, the south of this island? I don't know. I don't know with the placement, you know, aircraft wise, I feel like it's not much of an issue. The ground craft or where just in the little bit I played last night, it definitely seems much tougher to get them on and off in a timely manner. So I wonder maybe while you're doing that, I'll check where the current is headed and see that'll help us get a better guess as to which position might be more beneficial. Um, so the current's coming up from kind of the southeast. So maybe we want to stay on the, I guess let's stay somewhere to the north or northwest maybe because then deploying them they'll fight the current a little but when we go to get them back it'll help get them back to the ship a little quicker okay we'll give it a try see if it really even has that much of an effect it's hard to say give her a try i'm trying to think if there's anything else starting island where we kind of spawned i wonder are there supplies on that island it does well i don't know it's got a little picture it just looks like a house maybe not might be where supplies come from barges 
does look like on our little monitor here for um, inventory and logistics, it does show a little house and it does show small munitions. So that might be 30 millimeter ammo there too. That's handy. Okay, so it's got some basics there. Yeah, it says in storage, next columns, pending order, and final is in transit. Okay, that's good to know. So if we need to grab some ammo, we can do that. appears to be some sort of snow. Maybe it's nuclear ash. <laughs> Could be. This World War III that we find ourselves engaged in. be entering some calmer waters now. That is a plus. You can get aircraft ready to launch if you want. Yeah, we're going to use... I think we'll stick with that strat that I toyed with. The razor bills seem to go pretty nice to determine where everything might be, and then those albatross, I think they are, are pretty nice for, like, your attack runs they're a lot faster plus a little more heavily armed with the mini guns and missiles I wonder while I'm looking at this map let's check the wind perfect so it's actually pretty calm right around this island we're in the worst part of it right now Bill, it is. Start pulling that one up right now. First one is being brought up to deck. I didn't realize there was a hold on deck button. Yeah, I saw that today too. I Just guess it's really good for uh, rough seas. Yeah, that would be super handy. Okay, we're gonna start a pattern with him around the island. And our second. Okay, the second one is held, so we'll hold him and see what we see here. I guess I can use the uh, ship, whatever we want to call it, this viewing scope, and see if we can see anybody. See a little bit of a headlight off in the distance. Oh, 
looks like they've got one or two of their little amphibious vehicles just off the edge of the water there. <clears throat> like quite a few on shore there by the uh, station. Let's see. It's either the same deal. I think the weather, it's not quite letting us tag with the ship scope here. You can definitely tell they're there, though. Uh, the Razor Bill doesn't have uh, the camera. You know, 50 cameras on it. It doesn't. That's the only thing I didn't like. I The Albatross has it, which is great, but the Albatross moves so fast, it's like kind of a catch 22 I'm gonna ready up uh, well not for this mission anyway uh, Alpha 1 Albatross okay for like the long range yeah. operation let's uh, let's see deploy then Alpha well I guess we could use Launch Alpha Two. Sending the other radio. That'll get a building. camera up. Yeah. We're great on fuel. That first one's made a couple loops, and we're still sitting at seventy-six percent. So we got lots of time. We just have to get a visual on our bad guys. interesting little test here to see when the sun comes up maybe that affects our visibility maybe we'll actually be able to get a tag actually seems to make it harder to spot vehicles because they don't have their headlights on that's true so we have uh, two razor bills up right now yep circling one I set just inside of the other can't really get a visual with them though yet yeah, I see at least one of them being fired upon it is. I just checked the HP. It doesn't look like it's taking a hit, so I think they're just kind of helplessly shooting at it. Okay, let's get the launch aircraft. definitely have one or two out in the water and I'm surprised we can't see it on radar because our radar I have moved all the way out to 10,000 meters and there's nothing being blipped. Must be just on the side of that. Yeah, they're shooting at the on our big map here on the bridge, it's they're firing kind of hopelessly at the uh, razor bill on the inner pattern. All the right, outside. Yeah, I'm spotting targets for us. Perfect. I see they're showing up here too on the other map, which is super handy. Okay, let me. I'll move a razor bill in on one. Double missile him. Let's take our other. There's a lot of guys there, wow. We've got two targets locked with the Razor Bills. We'll see if they uh, 
hit anything here. Whoa, what was that? Oh, I grabbed your albatross instead of the other razor bill. It was right over the pattern loop. That's my <laughs> fault. Well, he got one, so there's that. We on fuel. This one is 50%. Let's see if we can get one more. I might as well. I'm gonna pull the other razor bill back. He used up his rounds. We'll get him resupplied. Looks like that little. Uh, whatever we'd like to call it, the little fraction of the island there to the left of the main island is, uh, they've got two vehicles that looks like moving from there, kind of just helplessly sitting in the water right now. Actually, it looks like one of their vehicles from the other main island is kind of doing the same thing, heading west toward that little section as well. those guys back um, thirty mil ammo we've got five thousand rounds that's just plenty for now for the ship gun itself Razor Bill's found back. That is by far the most enemy vehicles I've seen on one island, though. Yeah, on a, a one shield island. Right. <laughs> okay, that one's landing. Bring the other razor bill back. those resupplied that's pretty cool to see off in the distance the uh, albatross there doing its attack run yeah it's pretty neat I'm doing my best not to crash it <laughs> Props to you for flying. I tried one of the Razor Bills last night with my just mouse and keyboard, and oh my gosh, it was not good. I think if I was using a controller or like a flight stick, I think I'd be okay. But boy, with a mouse and keyboard, I was not getting my bearings. I don't, I don't know if it allows a flight stick. I saw mixed, I, I didn't really delve into the uh, comments, but I saw there were people discussing it on like an old Reddit post from a year plus, so I don't know how accurate any of that information is, but somebody was asking about it and there were people commenting in response, but again, I, I don't know the validity of that, if at all, maybe not. It does seem like a lot, like for a game like this, for them to add support for that type of interface, but who knows? 
Yeah, we still have, we got four marked on the main island and looks like at least one on the little cove there. Down to three, you got one. Okay, the other razor bill is landing as we speak. Perfect. On the razor bill, it should be pretty easy to <laughs> shoot guys with the minigun. Yeah. Back it resupplied. Yeah, I see two vehicles on the little island to the western cove there. They're kind of out in the water, it looks like, floundering around. see two it looks like maybe just two left on that main island yeah um that i can see i got four targets out here okay yeah i see fire coming from it looks like closer to the uh where that command center is can't see him though and yeah, marking some targets i didn't see before check on these razor bills see if they're resupplied yet so we can get them sent back okay I think we're good on one the second is still being resupplied I'm gonna return that or albatross to the carrier okay There we go, I can get a good visual with the carrier scope and gun. They definitely have three that are not out in the water, but actually they're moving four right now. Four of them all down to like very low ground right on the water here, on our side. If they stop and bunch up, we could fire a single shell from the carrier gun and probably get three or four easily, but they need to stop moving. Oh, they're driving right out into the water. Okay, are they gonna get a little aggressive? Or are they fleeing? I can't tell. I'm gonna get a razor bill ready with auto cannons. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna keep an eye on these and see where the hell... It doesn't look like they're coming towards us. It looks like they might be trying to run away. I'm not sure. They're definitely not concerned with heading toward the carrier. Interesting. I'm curious where they are going. We're trying anyway. They're not going to live long, I'm sure. Okay, Albatross is on final. Okay. Let's see. Anything?
I love the uh, launching and the landing animation of the albatross, but it makes me nervous when they land because I feel like it's just gonna shoot off the edge right off the bow. <laughs> it goes right up to that edge, like uses the full extent of the runway, I guess. Yeah, I can work on the Ready seal if you want to fly because I'm not, we don't want me flying those. I'll lose our stock. I'll get the seals ready and get those headed out. Let's do, which one's carrying the virus? I believe that is S2. S1, opposite side. Okay, let's get those guys launched. Oh, I think we're getting a little sneaky stealth attack from the uh, stern. They're coming up behind us. I think we just... Uh, they, won't. They, they won't survive long. I did not see them. They looped around that little cove that we saw them move out of. That's what they were doing. They just did it right in front of us, I guess. That's all. All right. First seal is moving. Second one is going to get a waypoint set here shortly. to deploy it first to clean up anything we might find meanwhile two seals moving well I thought they were coming towards us but they must have backed off a little bit they're just kind of all hanging out on that little cove there's at least another six of them it looks like quite a few um, man, I'm not seeing any target markers hmm I tagged yeah, at least four with the ship. Let me see if I can see him again. Here we go. I'm marking him again. It looks like at least two. I don't know what they're doing. They Now they move to the back side. I might still be able to get a... Yeah, I can get a tag on them. I actually see them through the trees. They're moving up on the hill. It's taking it a minute. but we well, can I can visually up. see some. Yeah. The other, it looks like three of them were, are like down in the water on the edge, and then those oh, ones Oh, I up didn't there. have any guns selected. <laughs> That's why. That was perfect okay, well, you timing. Live and, live and you learn. You said that, and then I just saw a big explosion through the camera. I think we have them tagged, at least with the ship camera here the uh actually you know what i can hit these three right now i'm gonna try to fire a shot we might did we get them was i short i think we got two yeah okay i killed some 
Yeah, you got the other one that ran off to the uh, side there. There may any be more targets in the area. I don't see anything marked unless it went to the far back side that I can't get a visual on. Let me uh, check the seal update here and see where they're at. Slowly making their way there. Maybe I should just return this guy. It's like a little under halfway on health points. Uh, we have the other at least. You have another razor bill and I think we have, what do we have, one albatross? No, we have two, okay. So we've got some options there. Seals are deployed, it's gonna take them a bit to get there. Three of the four uh, are roughly do, halfway. Do we have anybody on land or near it? Uh, the three that are still working their way there are still a ways out, so nobody's on land Hold yet. On. Yeah, this is the enemy I'm getting fired upon. I see it, it just showed a blip. See if I, I can. Got it. Nice. Okay. I'll return this one to the carrier. Got the waypoints set for the seals. We just have to wait on them to get there. They are moving much faster than they were in my first playthrough with the rough waters, though. The rough water is terrible with those things. I think I should start scouting out the island to the... Oh, which one do you want? One to the north? Uh... Let's see what it has. I think the one... So we just took air chassis. The one to the north would be nice. That's fuel two shields if we can get it. Yeah. Traffic, I guess they called it. Interesting choice of names. Okay, Alpha One has the fuel tanks. Okay. A man him said in chat, it must be your PC and its affinity for rough seas. All right. Seals are still making progress, getting closer. Good news is we're landing close to where the command center is, so it shouldn't take us long to take that over. seals as soon as our virus carrier or uploader i guess gets there we'll get him on his way
think our last seal just hit land, so I'm going to see if he's headed toward my waypoint for the uh, command center. Hopefully my plan for the currents will not should help us. The current's going to be kind of pushing everything toward our ship. Maybe that'll help give them a boost to speed a bit. It's probably a good thing for me that this game doesn't have time compression. Maybe I won't panic quite so much. <laughs> Okay, so this Two Shield Island has an airfield. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. We might have to engage in some air-to-air -air combat. Yeah, no. I've seen my play, not play through, my playing session last night, I did see, like, I came up to an island that had enemy aircraft. I didn't, I don't think I ever really engaged them before I hopped off for the night, but I did see them, like, patrolling. So, I'm sure that's probably going to be a very real situation, I guess. Um, let's see... Trying to remember how to deploy the viruses. I think you have to do this manually. Oh, they have four aircraft. Okay, I think we're capping the. Yeah, we're capping the command station, so. Give these guys a little bit of time here and. Might be ready to wrap this one up sooner than later. I'm checking out the bigger map with your observation right now. I can see a few of the vehicles. I hope they don't start rolling out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would uh, put us on a bit of a time crunch, but... It doesn't look, yeah, everything's pretty well just kind of I mean, just shoot them down if necessary, right? Yeah, absolutely. Should I just, should I start engaging them? Ooh, you know what I see, though, is wherever that airfield, it looks like there's a couple units. I don't know if they're just parked there. It's not showing them, like, taking off yet, but, ooh, a couple of them just disappeared. I don't know if that means they took off or they're, like, maybe being stowed or something so be aware there might be some unfriendlies <laughs> well, of course they're unfriendly somewhere it's just a question of where they went I don't see any movement on the aircraft they keep popping up and off on the uh, like that little strip, I guess, or pad, so to speak. But yeah, I can't tell. It's not really showing them, like, actively moving, like, the ground vehicles. So maybe it's just the... Uh, I might as well start engaging them. Yeah, I'll check on our seal progress here. It looks like we are capped, I believe, so this should be under our control. Yes, island captured, Vatland, unlock two blueprints. Okay, 
So I'll pull the seals back, I guess. Let's get these guys headed back to ship. Oh, shit. One hit and they almost they took most of the health away from this guy. Good thing we got the blueprints now. <laughs> you took out a walrus, whatever that is. I'm not even sure what type of vehicle that is yet. Hey, just got a lucky hit. <laughs> We unlocked blueprints for the oh, petrol the and albatross. Yeah, it's one aircraft down. It's just a petrol. Our seals are on their way back, so as soon as these guys get loaded up, we'll be ready to roll and get a little closer. cheeky shot at the hangar <laughs> oh imagine if i packed bombs i was gonna say those bombs really seem like they do pack quite the punch so that, oh, that may be a very viable option i shot it down that's all right we've got our blueprint now we can make a new uh i don't think it's the razor bill we can make an albatross or the that petrol wait we can make a petrol yeah, yeah, we just unlocked the blueprint. That it'll speed up uh, island capture time. Absolutely. Seals are making their way back. Still a little ways to go, but uh, that does seem to help. They're moving much quicker, it looks like, in the current than they would have been fighting. That's a good thing. As we'll see how they work. Seals are still en route. Got some albatrosses in storage. Might as well get one. Absolutely. Back over here. Oh, the seals are so painfully slow. Yeah, on that island, it looks like you managed to get, what, three, I think? A walrus, whatever that is, a petrol, and an enemy albatross. Not enough. <laughs> hey, it's a start. I'll get gooder at it. That's right. Finally, it looks like one of the seals is getting reasonably close. That's encouraging.
As soon as this first seal lands, I'll get the other three loaded in as well, and they can take turns. And then while they're doing that, I'll grab a drink here really quick. First one is should be really close to the ship. It's approaching. Yeah, I like this game so far. This was a good good pickup, I think. That's pretty fun. I think I see an aircraft flying around. Check our other map here, see if I can help you with any visuals. Yeah, that looks like some type of a copter, maybe a petrol or something, from what I can see. Hey, bombs away. Wonder if I killed anything. I'm watching on the big map. See anything on the... I'm going to check the feed, just, yeah. Yeah, the feed. Um, looks like nothing yet. Right. Nothing on the feed. It looks like they, unfortunately, right now, the one, whatever that is, some type of helicopter still flying around, but it looks like they scattered a bit as well. A lot of the ground vehicles are clustered in groups of two. Helicopter is actually, we might have to get some anti-air defenses. He's kind of, he's got a ways to get to us, but he's definitely headed away from the island. Oh, you have another aircraft coming in on your six. It looks like some type of a, almost like a stealth fighter. I'm not quite Manta. sure. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Uh, as long as it doesn't have missiles. He's a ways. Oh, oh he's... he has guns. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hopefully I have a better um, turning rate than him. I don't know where he is, though. He's, he should be coming up uh, on your 12, yeah. Yeah. You're both moving pretty quick. He's he's cooking pretty good as well. I do think you seem like you've got better maneuverability from what he's doing. He's flying low now. He dropped his altitude quite a bit. Damage critical. Uh, can't. I should probably get back to base. He's kind of, you must have scared him off, or he's pretty low over the water. It's kind of weird. He's way out. Where'd that helicopter go? Did we ever? Oh, it flew back up north as well. Okay. So th that's good. Their AI didn't get too aggressive as far as chasing us down, but. Gosh, I'm still waiting on the last seal. This is taking so long. These things are slow. <laughs> oh yes he is it's going to be about to your 11 o'clock can't yaw enough 
Okay, well, at least we're away from the ground units. Oh, yeah. He's got a ways. If he pushes that hard, I'll fire up the uh, anti-aircraft missiles. He's going to regret coming down here. Last seal is working its way in. It's just taking forever. He's still with you. He's kind of, I don't know. He seems like he comes in pretty aggressively, but then he kind of backs off and he is circling the razor, around. The razor bill would be great for this. wonder let me check something here um, I'm trying to prep one right now with some uh, anti-aircraft missiles as soon as it swaps those out I'll see what I can do to give you a hand Plus, I just want to see how that munition type works, I guess. Plus, I have time to kill with a seal taking forever. It's almost on board, though, finally. Okay, Razor Bill. A3 is armed for anti-air. Bringing that guy up. Did he go away? It looks like, did he crash or die? I think he may have died. Like, I don't know if maybe he took damage or just the AI crashed. The problem right now is we have the petrol or the whatever type of helicopter that is is heading directly for us right now. Well, I'm not worried about the petrol. I don't see the yep. uh, Manta it looks completely gone. Let me check the feed and see if it shows... Vector North, see if we can get that petrol. Yeah. I'm going to circle the uh, Razor Bill. Maybe. What the hell was that? take any damage but it sure sounded like something slammed into the water it's odd where's that petrol at uh, he's much closer to the island it looks like yeah. he's kind of yeah it's coming back and forth a bit razor bill is inbound to kind of help you with some AA missiles I should probably just get this guy back to base. Okay, I'm set up here. Yeah, he keeps, like, he heads towards you, but then he backs off pretty abruptly, too. So I don't think he's very committed to the engagement. Everything else looks like ground forces from what we can see. He just kind of keeps looping around right out in the water. I may have just got to bait him out. Razor Bill's on the way, so if he does push out, you, you're you about to have the support right behind you here, so if he decides to push, your backup will be there. I have him targeted with the Razor Bill, so let's check out what the range is on these anti-aircraft missiles. If he can get a lock. Missiles out. Got him. 
Nice. Perfect. That's all I can see that looks like aircraft. Just a lot of land vehicles now. Uh, what's it look like here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, about a so dozen kept roughly. Cap, kept the island, right? Yeah, yeah, we're good on the other and we got the uh, seals back. Okay, might as well head out. Yeah, the only thing is our razor bill and our albatross are inbound and everything else is good to go. can't tell if the razor bill can catch us he's kind of like slowly I'm, I'm questioning this AI like I'm watching it to see what his abilities are but try to maneuver to he's closing in it looks like he's about to land or try oh was a hard landing oh oh no oh what was that <laughs> that was our razor bill just uh botched his landing slammed into the deck <laughs> the albatross should be somewhere yeah she's in front of us what's it about i see that okay Yep, just looping around to make her approach. I'm gonna go check the deck and see. Doesn't look like we took any damage, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. sir <laughs> we'll talk to you soon have a good evening appreciate you here around the island see what we're looking at same 
same thing. Current's kind of coming from the southeast, so I think if we park somewhere on the... Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. These are pretty calm waters, so I guess it's not as big of a deal. I think we'll be okay. I wonder if we can surf this. Albatross is back on board. fairly simple turkey shoot for us if we got rid of most of the aircraft they had already. They got rid of a large chunk of our aircraft too. <laughs> and, well, I did too. Uh, that's how we gotta learn. That's all me. <laughs> it's better that I would have wrecked without even engaging in combat, so I think we were a little more efficient. I'm not sure... get those chassis so this is gonna have to be us figuring out how to transfer turrets utility surface chassis air chassis okay um, Okay, so the barge is en route. The problem is it might take a bit of time to resupply us with some air chassis. We still have our albatross and one razor bill and our four seals, which I know aren't nearly as helpful.
laser bill, I think we might have to swap out. I think that's what I had AA on. Oh no, this is the one you had with the auto cannons. The one I had with AA blew up on our deck. <laughs> Barge is actually making pretty decent speed, so maybe that won't be too terrible during this engagement. We might be able to get some chassis delivered. Barring any issues here. Sir. So the barge is actually making better time. Um, we might be able to get those chassis here a little better shape than we initially thought. Um, I started scoping a bit here to see what I saw a couple turrets. It looks like there's something here headed toward the water, some type of vehicle. It's a seal. <clears throat> I'll mark what I can. A couple of them look like they're going to be a little out of sight. That rocky outcropping is kind of good cover. Some type of turret gun up there as well. That must have been what was shooting at you on your fly over among other things I figure that there's some units that are really good at anti-aircraft and if we take them out we shouldn't have as much trouble fire at this turret gun with the deck gun. We, I think we can take this guy out right from here. Yeah, I'm watching. Maybe. It's telling me inactive. I wonder what that means. All breakers are on. Yeah. You have to... Oh, I didn't have it armed, I believe. I think we have to flip. Where's it at? Flare main gun right there. That's my mistake. Ah. Okay, so now we should be able to... There we go. visual on him here. There he is. Perfect. There we go. Shots away. Get a fire. Oh, there he goes. That turret is gone. I see the other vehicles, they're on the move now up in the trees. There's at least four right now that I'm marking. Um, all ground vehicles, seal, I think that other's that walrus, it's called some type of, yeah, walrus. This one I'm not sure, I don't have a mark on it yet, it's another seal try to get a good lock on each on the fourth of four so three seals and a walrus it looks like oh there's another one coming up behind them that'll be five another walrus okay got them all marked
that's going. Let me check on the barge progress here. Working on identifying what kind of units we're up against. Yeah, the big map is showing what do we this. have here? Two, four, several groups in the center there, really heavily clustered together. If I could get them to stop, we could use the carrier guns as well. here as well. That's a seal, another. What are these Weller things? I think well, that's that LWR. walrus. Walrus? Yeah, I think so, because when you took out one earlier with the uh, albatross, I we got one on the feed. I was confused what it was also. A lot of seals. Walruses are the ones that, like, that shot me down. Yeah, I don't know if it was that or the turret, and then I. the only thing is I haven't seen more than one turret. I've only gotten a visual on one. I feel like there would be more than one, but maybe we just can't see them yet. A lot of these that I'm marking are seals. Walrus. Walrus seal. Just seal way down in a very isolated area there. I don't want to waste ammo on him. He's not really a threat to anything. I don't think he can get back up anywhere. There's a group of three clustered together. I'm firing the cannon. See if we can get at least two. I think we just got all three. Nice. Perfect. Yep, they're gone. Three more down. That big group in the kind of center of the island, though, they're behind so much cover. We definitely can't get them with the uh, ship guns. That's going to require some. Oh, uh, fuck. look like it's stalled out. Almatron, Scout Wing, Razorbill, Light Rotor, Petrol, Heavy Lift. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Do you want to try a Petrol or would you rather have a Razorbill or another Albatross? We can do any I'll of the three. The I'll need the razor bills, and then I'll definitely need an albatross. And okay. Petrols are really good for airlifting units. Okay. Let's do, we'll get the albatross then. That's refitting. Razor bills are pretty cheap. They're only 750, so we can definitely do that. Oh yeah, get a few of those. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Those are queued up, ready to go. We'll give that a second and see what happens. I'm gonna grab a drink really quickly. I will be right back.
any more targets left? Let's see. Oh wait, there's one. Yeah, I see one. Nice. What'd you use for this, the razor bill? Yeah. Shit, this thing is OP. <laughs> <laughs> chassis last one's just about finished in queue let's see if we can get those to us All right um. so yeah if we can get a pet uh oh I'm under fire here Got him. Obviously, I did not have them marked. Doesn't matter. still very confused on this inventory. I can't quite seem to... Let's try something here. What if I select to order... Um, air chassis. Let's do... Definitely confused how that works. Those are in storage. All right, let's. I sent a seal out to capture the island for us. Gotcha. 
I am trying to decipher this mess and figure out, like, we have the chassis kind of created. I just can't figure out the actual logistical side to get them here. Um... Barges will collect items at waypoints linked to islands if the carrier has pending orders that can be fulfilled. Barges will unload their items. Okay, so it should be doing this automatically. Uh. Pending order we have in storage. Yeah, we have three albatross and three razor bills each in storage, and our pending order is just standing at one of each. So my confusion is why isn't the barge doing anything? Show destination, inventory, actions. Hmm. I have the barge on the move, so maybe it was just kind of bugged out. Let's see if I can get it to travel where we need it to go here and make some progress with that at least. It'd be nice to top up our chassis. I think I'm seeing what's going on here. It's kind of a definitely not beginner friendly explanation for how this works. Um, so like our first island we captured, right? With the air chassis essentially that we unlocked. 
yeah. when we choose to craft the chassis, uh, it, it's charging us accordingly in crafting the chassis. The issue is the chassis aren't at the island where they're essentially captured. It's where the warehouse is, which is the start. So I think okay. they have to be shipped from the, the actual warehouse to us. So that's where my issue is. That's why we're not picking them up where we're at. I was very confused. Okay, so let's get the barge moving the proper direction. Yeah, that definitely was not explained well. <laughs> Okay, so at least we know we'll be topped up on air vehicles here. And I should, I have some fuel on order as well, so we should be able to top up fuel. picks up our stuff now. Let's get closer. Is that our seal on the island, it looks like? It is. I can take a look and see what our next island that we look at will be. What do we have? Looks like large munitions, uh, land chassis up north. To our east, we have turrets, small munitions. Maybe we go for small munitions? I don't know. That's either way that we go is going to be a way closest one to us is large munitions. I guess I should check the uh, supply list and see what large munitions qualify as. Probably ship based. Well, I would think. I don't know. It says... Okay, so large munitions covers everything from bombs, light, medium, and heavy, all types of missiles that we use on like the razor bills as well um, and then some of the other stuff that we haven't gotten into yet like torpedoes and cruise missiles etc 
So I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever we feel like to head towards. All right, Barge, did you pick this up or what is going on here? Like, what are we doing? Fire spots are on their way, and seals returning to the carrier. Nice. I hate to say it, but I don't think that solved our barge issue. It's just idle again, sitting there. It's not picking anything up. Yeah, it says idle. Yeah, and it's I'm double checking my list. It shows it, the ones we crafted. I crafted a few of each, so we technically should have four albatross chassis and four razor bill in storage, and our pending order is just for one of each. And nothing showing in transit and I selected fuel and that shows pending but nothing in transit as well and he's just sitting here which is what I can't figure out oh okay maybe it took a minute I did that I, I did that how'd you figure it out it, I went but it doesn't seem to have anything on board does it it doesn't his inventory is showing zero that's what I can't figure out, is how do we get the actual items loaded? Like, it doesn't really prompt anything to... Yeah, it does say he's traveling to Carrier, and I now the other waypoint. waypoint and then uh, I, I'm telling it to go back to the storage warehouse. Let's see if you can catch something I missed. I'm not sure. Island captured. We have access to fuel. Very nice. Let's do a quick search here and see what it says about our barge. Let's see. Surely somebody else has had our exact same question before. Yeah. Okay, the response in the Steam forums to somebody having the same question, they said you have to link the factory to your ship. After the link, retry what you attempted should work. Um, okay, so when we go to map and then we... Um, yeah, it's... Do your logistics request. Drag from the barge to the place where what you want is. You can chain as many factories and warehouses as you want, then drag to the carrier to complete the request. Wow. Barges do not know what logistics to pull until they're shown where the supplies are going. Oh, okay. So it's already, it's headed back to the warehouse, and then we can send it out, out to the first island, and then to gotcha. our carrier. It all makes sense now. <laughs> it's explained so well. See how the enemy carrier has been doing? Yeah, they're ahead of us, of course. I last I looked, they were on four, I think, and we were on two. Well, technically oh, three. three. They have four. Yeah, we're right there. I think that's pretty good for a first go. It's an AI, so. <laughs> Let's 
so let's see. Not too worried. Seal is back on board. Where to? I honestly, I think we're wide open for whatever we want to do. We have uh, large Near munitions. Spot. Large, yeah, large munitions is our closest. I think we might as well just nab it. still polishing up trying to read what this says about the uh, specifics to the barge See if that works. I've got a waypoint set from the warehouse to us. We'll see if it actually picks anything up. That is the question. a bit yeah i could tell looking out the window i was like this is quite a bit rougher than we were earlier which is inevitably going to happen i like how there's an option to keep eyes level with the horizon yeah for all those people who tend to get seasick <laughs> land lovers right that's right Is the barge actually loading? 
Oh my gosh, I think it might be. Oh, I see a progress bar. It is. Oh, we figured it out. Major win. All right. Now it should go. Oh, beautiful. It switched the waypoint right to us. I love it. Yeah, that is definitely not a beginner user-friendly procedure to figure out. That is flying blind completely. All right. Well, at least we know the supplies are coming, so there's that. Um, how are we on ground vehicles are good? Yeah, they're all accounted for. I should have checked our, um, we've capped a few islands. We might need the uh, viruses. Oh, so we have to refill those? I'm not sure. Uh, we have four on carrier stock, so we at least have some here. Our storage has 20, so if we get in a pickle, we'll, uh, I'll bring some up. So far, I think we're okay. This, let me see. I think we can only hold two at a time per, so technically we could do another two captures before we had to worry about, yeah, two at a time, so we're covered for the time being. is about 17 kilometers out finally he will have our chassis so we'll be able to top up our uh, aircraft okay perfect see a lot of vehicles being marked <laughs> yeah a little over a half dozen already I don't see I know we haven't gotten the full visual yet but I'm not seeing like an airfield or anything airstrip which is surprising it looks like a pretty decent sized island what is that out there? That's a that's a ship. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Swordfish. Alright. Let's uh From the other island? I saw it on our radar scope. It is to our northeast slightly. I see it being pinged. Uh, but that's not coming towards us. Doesn't look like it, no. He's facing the island, probably just a patrol or something. Yeah, we could we could uh, get a torpedo after her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, might well. as well take the razor bill up. Yep. Go do some damage. that I'm gonna take a look and see if anything's bunched together I'm gonna fire at a clustered group here see what we can hit I think we just got three yeah I saw that perfect see on our I think it's still yeah she's facing away I want to 
to keep an eye on that ship. Yeah, she's a long ways. She has no intention of coming this way right now. until the supplies get here. to send them all the way back to our start. Storage. Oh, it's daylight, so I can't see any headlights. <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's definitely very helpful when it's nice and dark and you can see them. Yeah. Harder to spot tracers too. Yeah. I don't see a visual with the ship scope at the moment on anything. That's the command center. I don't see anything nearby. Good news is those two chassis are almost here, so we'll have a little extra flexibility with our aircraft. Yeah, we'll have to get an albatross back in the air, to spot everything. Yeah, it should be easy. the barge on our radar scope yeah I can see him just barely zooming out on our nav panels here he's getting close do we have any torpedoes on board uh, we do we should be fully stocked on whatever it defaulted us with um, we haven't fired any yet we should have this tempted <laughs> firing try. at that swordfish. Try it. See what happens. It's the only way we're going to know how it works. All right. Torpedoes, we have 12 uh, and then 12 noisemakers as well. So yeah, I say go for it. See what we kind of range we get. It's about four clicks out. So if we actually look at the specifics of what our AI counterpart has taken, they went with a like support island first, which I'm not even sure what that gives you access to. Uh, their next island was fuel, and their third was small munitions, and their most recent was large munitions. So if he's following that southward pattern, he's most likely headed to turrets. So he still has not picked up any chassis, I guess.
No, oh, they're outside of rendering distance, so they don't have to deal with the stuff we have to deal with. True. Ah, oh, that barge is right on us. Yep. He's actually loading the chassis, or unloading the chassis. I see it. Oh, cool. Just got done. Okay, so we're going to have him grab some fuel in the meantime, and then I guess we'll get our chassis and stuff outfitted for work. Let's see. Large, where are you? Right there. Oh, that's right. We didn't route it to that other island to get the chassis. Did he not bring them? Uh, we had to route it to that other island. I shall do that. Or you already did that. Okay. I think so. I'm trying to see if it... Uh, where's our inventory list here? Air chassis. We should have a stock of... See an albatross. There they are. A razor bill and an albatross. We got two at least. So he's routed to I believe he should oh, pick us up some. A, there's a 30 millimeter gimbal. There there's so many attachments, man. That's where I get lost, like trying to it's gonna be a learning experience to figure out all, all of the options available. There's everything from smoke launchers to I don't know what the hell a sonic pulse generator is, but there's those. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Actuated camera, gimbal, observation. That's just utility. Then you have all your turrets, etc. I mean, there's quite a bit. Okay, he's headed back there. That'll work. How much? We're still sitting pretty good on currency. I should probably grab a couple extra chassis as well before we need them this time. I might as well try out the torpedoes. Absolutely.
what are you in right now, the Razor Bill? Yep, got two torpedoes. Nice. Heading for, I think I'm heading for the enemy ship. I see, yeah, there's some type of blip there, even though we don't have the exact details maybe on position or what it technically is, but there's definitely something in that vicinity. there so we can have him load Let's see if I remember how to do this again Seemed like I was being fired at. Uh oh, missile incoming. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Maybe the ship had some AA. Uh, it has missiles, that's for sure. But let's see what this torpedo does. Okay, it's active now. But is it changing course at all? I'm not sure it is. Okay, well, I just gotta release a lot sooner. extra chassis as well.
getting a couple visuals on vehicles here at this island finally. Down by the beach again. Looks like a seal. Uh, these torpedoes seem to go for quite some distance. Really? Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> Shit, it's covered the distance from like one island to another. That's quite a bit. Swordfish is out there. They stop. We can always get a nice, easy pot shot with our oh, yeah. We're about to get at least one or two, possibly three again. Three more down. status here. So I only see two enemy vehicles. Yeah, I saw two that were kind of scattered around. I nabbed three on the beach with the ship gun, but those two were pretty opposite sides and moving around. I definitely think we've gotten a lot of them. You got several down by that end, and then I got another three or four bunched together. So we've taken out probably somewhere between seven and 10 almost. Um, I know why that didn't work. I need to set. Oh, that 
torpedo is closing in on that swordfish. I was looking at it there a little bit ago on the map. I deployed a noisemaker, I think. I see that. Uh, oh, it's too late. He got hit. Still requires one torpedo. I guess I'll send another her way. Chassis are en route. Um, the fuel might be a little bit, but it's working its way through production. So, anyways, we do have it on the way. I'll take a look with our ship scope here and see. There's two of the seals on the beach again. They go stay kind of stationary. I'll take a shot. See a boom. Yes, my aim is bad right now. <laughs> Seems. Yeah, you got him. I think that's everyone. I think so. I like I said. I know we we had to have taken out at least ten. We had almost three instances of three to four enemies at one go. So that's at least nine or ten. can roll the uh, seals out. Yeah. Get those. Yeah, torpedo is tracking on the swordfish. I see the torpedo. That's awesome range. don't like about these seals is when they deploy from the ship they all cluster right on top of each other it's very hard to distinguish between waypoints yeah that's not a problem just a minor inconvenience but it's kind of annoying when you're trying to get them waypoints set and just move on i think the uh swordfish is destroyed awesome <laughs> One more seal to set the waypoint here, and they'll be, they're already en route to the island. And in the meantime, our barge should be on its way here with more air chassis and hopefully some fuel. What is that, the white blip out there to the northeast? Is that probably the noisemaker or whatever from the swordfish? Uh, the, uh, it just kind of disappeared, here? actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's a no noisemaker. I gotcha.
Okay, barge is loading fuel, perfect. So he'll be on his way here sooner than later. Seals should be on their way to the island. I venture to guess if you had like a half a dozen people playing this together, you could do this pretty damn efficiently and quickly. How many people can you have playing at once? Uh, I've seen videos people have uploaded to YouTube where they've gotten like pretty large groups, like anywhere from, I think the most I saw was somewhere between like six and ten people. Oh boy, what's this shit? I have aircraft tracking. Uh, uh, yeah, radar oh, southwest, it looks like. I see them. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have missiles. question is, where the hell are they going? Are they coming after us, or are they going to... We have pretty good anti-aircraft defenses, if it's like a lone... Ah, uh, they're just trying to defend the island, I think. Could be, uh... I see a few, yeah, three it looks like, at least. Trying to see if there's any more ground targets I need to spot. Or if I can send this guy home. Okay, who the heck's following me anyway? Yeah, there's Manta. I got all the ground targets spotted. Okay. Return that guy to the carrier. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Bill. Probably deal with those enemy aircraft. Barge is unloading or getting ready to unload here shortly, so we'll have two more air chassis. Another Razor Bill and uh, Albatross. Maybe I could launch a.
What do you think? What are we debating? Launch a missile at the incoming enemy aircraft. Oh, 1,000%, yeah. <laughs> Fire away. I, I did get a chance to use some of those missiles last night, and they seem like they have pretty amazing range and accuracy as well. They're super fun to shoot. It's very satisfying when they connect. does not seem to be you know, it's traveling away yeah not locked on when it locks on that'll flash up there and we should be able to get a hit on him it, okay the razor bill launched did we get delivery yet no he's unloading as we speak okay I have the other air chassis loaded up in the vehicle bay so we can customize those whenever we want. Our fuel's being loaded as we speak. Get the seals en route here. They've been landed for a bit. Don't want to forget. Are you able to tell if the enemy aircraft uh, spotted me? Um, let me take a look. I would say, see, I don't, he starts to head towards you and then he just hooks it back in. So I can't tell if they're just kind of, it's almost like they're patrolling just as a show of force, like the three of them are kind of circling around the southern part of that island. Now this one seems like he's definitely headed your direction much more aggressively. Yes, there's one who definitely knows you are there. Yeah, I see him. It's the Manta too. Yeah, that's him. down the other come on man tell you want a piece of me <laughs> The others at the island don't seem to be aggroed. They're just kind of flying their little loop in that bay, but you definitely have him on you. Those other two are just kind of oh, circling. Oh, he crashed. I see that. I saw the X. I couldn't tell if you shot him or he... Is there an 
anybody else around me right now? No, you're clear in okay. the immediate vicinity. Uh, the and other two I, are up north. I was hoping I could shoot him down. Looks like you have an albatross might be headed your way. He curved way. Yeah, he's coming towards you. Yeah, okay, albatross. See. Looks like they're flying kind of low. They're going taking altitude now. I'm gonna have to return to base soon. Ammo. No fuel. Fuel. Okay. See what else can I stock up on here? Got him. Nice. I just I, I got a that. vector south. No, I think I got the carrier in sight. Man, why do I have to do this? The AI can fly <laughs> itself home. <laughs> okay. Let's let the AI do it. Vector home. Oh, good. We have another Razor Bill active. Or chassis available. Yep. And I'm probably going to make another supply run here as soon as I get this island capped with the uh, seal. It's right there right now. I'm going to take over and fire the uh, virus. with a bunch of anti-aircraft missiles. Yep. While you're doing that, I'm going to grab us another chassis or two. I'll take a look at what other options we have. Uh, maybe I'll bring a couple petrols on board. Won't hurt to have at least one around. Oh, I yeah. actually... I. We you won't so. be doing that right away. They're, they are... Actually, wait a minute. No, I'm reading the wrong label here. We can't afford those. Okay. I thought that was the price. That's the... I don't know what that actually is. It's got the little symbol. I'm not sure what it means. Let's see. Let's grab another... is on its way for resupply. Island captured, large munitions available. So we now have blueprints for laser missiles, uh, noisemaker torpedoes, cruise missiles, heavy bombs, and regular torpedoes. Gotta get those seals back.
should be able to add... Yeah, so we could technically get another four chassis on both sides that we have storage for to be able to pull from at any time. Nice scenic view. Sun over that island. Yeah. Oh, I see the sun rising. tell they portrayed this not on earth it's like we have one setting in the back and we have one rising in the <laughs> uh, this too. our other direction it's a Tatooine situation we have here Petrol must be heavily armored. I wonder if I even waste ammo on it. It didn't fire at me. I see it flying. Yeah, he's like flying away, just kind of heading toward the island, probably trying to pull you in toward whatever they have. Whatever, I'll shoot whatever they have. Yeah. Seals are loading on the ship. Resupply will be a little while. Let's see, where do we want to position? It's a piece of it. <laughs> well, that 
Let's see. Launch Alpha 3. Why not? That's all we had. safe for the time being. Hopefully that was like all of their anti-air defense. Okay, I'm back. Alright. I just fired off a uh, AA missile. They had in that aircraft, I think it was the, it was the petrol was coming towards us. Took him out. Nice. So now we just need to head a little further. Our razor bill was trying to land. I think I almost killed it. Uh, how so? I don't know. I slowed down and it almost like overshot the uh, runway. I think it's doubling back to go again. So I'm just going to sit here pretty idle for a second. Give it a chance to not launch itself into the ocean. I guess I think for the AI, I just slowed down maybe a little too abruptly. Like it probably would have made the landing or at least gave it a pretty honest effort, but I really cut us back I, I, there. I was able to kill one. <laughs> Did he make it? It looks like he's, oh, there he is. I see landing. it. Okay. Beautiful. Hey, hey. Perfect. Got one uh, ready. All right. Alpha one is ready to go kill the enemy. Yep. Getting us into decent little position here as best I can.
are definitely fighting the current at the moment. What's this? Is that an enemy aircraft on the radar? It definitely looks like it. I saw the blip from here. If you want, arm those uh, missiles. Man, hold on. I look at. I'll slow down a tad. We're getting close enough. We'll be able to see where we want to engage. gone away now. I did not see any enemy aircraft on the other screens. Uh, let's see. Maybe he crashed. Maybe it's a <laughs> <laughs> land vehicle. <laughs> Could be. Uh, That carrier sure does go fast. Right. here try to pick up those other chassis in the last bit of fuel Is there an enemy aircraft near me? Uh, it's somewhat on your six. I don't know that he's actually alerted to you yet. He looks like he's kind of just haphazardly making a loop, but he is back there for sure. Looks like a petrol. Actually, I take that back. I don't think it's a petrol. It's smaller. It looks like an another albatross. He's definitely not aggroed on you. He hooked into toward the island. Oh, uh, we do have an albatross out here that has uh, 
the aircraft missiles. I see that. I didn't realize you were in the Razor Bill. I was looking at the Albatross. My bad. Let's get, uh, we'll get that guy. I don't think there's any more land units here. Oh, I see the really close to us. Yeah, I'm not gonna chance it. He was getting close to the ship. We might take some damage here if that rocket doesn't get him quickly. And missed. But I'll go after it. You really snuck up on me. I oh, didn't wait, catch him. Uh, turn around. I see that. <laughs> All right, good. One less worry. Somebody else is right here. They have more than one aircraft? They do. No, no, no. I'm tracking the same aircraft. It was not shot down. Oh, I missed the missile. I saw an explosion. It must have just defaulted. Yeah, the missile exploded. I see. That's what I saw. I didn't catch the radar of the... Oh, yeah. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Just going away. Do you have that albatross still in there? Should be, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna... Get the razor bill back to base. Shut that alarm off. We've got the repairs going. It's the best we can do. What? Did we, did we get hit? Oh, yeah, right on the bridge. Oh. Bridge is. Took a little minute damage to the hull, but we can repair that, no problem. hit again good lord that albatross is just I am wondering how do I tell if I'm locked onto it or not let's try now boom yeah okay it's dead Albatross back to base too. Yeah, I'm gonna get the bridge repairs done, and then one of our weapons on that side on the left took the hit. We'll see what we can assess here and get repaired. Sierra one for the island. Copy that. I guess 
so we'll have to take those enemy aircraft a bit more seriously. Yeah, I did not expect them to sneak up like that. I was, you know, just kind of haphazardly not giving them much thought. And then next thing I knew, I mean, it was pretty much too late to do anything that immediate. They just, they were already right on top of us. It was crazy. Did not expect them to go that quickly, that's for sure. up the waypoint here. Let's try this again. Let's check the pairs here, get that Question is that stuff's ordered, so can I get him to There we go, it's loading now. Eventually I'll beat that ability to set the waypoints into my head so I know how to do it. All right, let's see if we can get this last repair done, see where that leaves us. Hopefully those damaged systems come back online. It looks like they did. Got his arm. Yeah, the radar, I was worried about that. It said it was damaged. I was hoping we didn't lose like permanent functionality. Should be fine.
anti-air patrol vessel. That's interesting. I feel like we should have one of those. Is that a ship? Yeah, we can make our own... Uh, uh, that ship that you took out with the uh, torpedo. Swordfish. Swordfish, thank you. Yeah. I figure maybe little by little we'll grab one or two of those and start setting them on our islands to help. Because you know that AI is going to try at some point to cap something we've already taken. I'll just, we'll torpedo spam the AI. Still going, that's good. Okay. I tried to grab a little extra in the way of chassis here so that we can get more air and surface vehicles. Those extra chassis ready to load up and go.
capture do us a surface chassis. We unlocked a bear chassis and a walrus chassis. I'm not sure what the bear is. It's another ground vehicle. Yeah, of some kind. heavy platform our closest thing to a tank maybe yeah probably looks like it on the list unless there's other everything for surface starts at seal walrus bear oh there there is a mule I'm not sure what that is uh, if you click on it it says logistics support vehicle so yeah I guess bear would be like our tank version Nice. Um, I should be headed down to my quarters. What do you have to do? I gotta go to sleep. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not far behind. It's pretty late for me as well, so I'm sure I'll wrap it up shortly. I appreciate you hopping on the play. It was definitely fun having somebody with me. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, they very do, much. They do have uh, bunks here. I didn't even realize the first night that I toyed around with this, I saw that there were some of the rooms back here, but I didn't really dig around too much to see like what all was. Oh yeah, it's got like little, little loft and everything. Very nice. And a kitchen. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah it does. It's got the little fryer, <laughs> the sink. Nice lounge area it takes us right out to the stern pretty cool I think a man is picking this up as well so we might have a couple of us that can play together so that'll be cool that'd be a lot of fun definitely I suppose we'll save here. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Sounds good, sir. Again, I appreciate you hanging out. It was super fun. It was. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. Later. Some folks pop in and out, so we'll 
definitely will see you guys maybe tomorrow. We'll see how the day goes. Later, guys.